All right, so more head coaching news or lack thereof in the NFL. Byron Leftwich has said peace to his former franchise, the Jacksonville Jaguars, withdrawing his name from head coaching considerations. Man, the Jaguars are a dumpster fire right now. I'm going to break down everything going on with the story as well as give you my two cents on the whole situation. But if you could first like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get these daily update videos. Share this video with your friends. It really helps the channel out a lot. We are growing like crazy. All right, so from the top, the Jaguars rumor mill, Byron Leftwich, the offensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, has withdrawn his name from the head coaching considerations for the Jacksonville Jaguars, his former team. Drafted by the Jaguars, played quarterback for the Jaguars. Everyone kind of assumed this was going to be the spot. Leftwich, offensive coordinator in Tampa Bay under Bruce Arians, has done a fantastic job with that team. Even just before Tom Brady, they were great with Jameis Winston on offense. He just threw 30 picks. That team easily was good. Was really good in Arizona when he was coming up under Arians. That team lacked a little bit of talent in Arizona. A lot of people say they overperformed for what they had. We saw what they were when they left. So Byron Leftwich is a top head coaching candidate. And I think a lot of people passed on interviewing because they assumed the Jaguars' job was going to be his. Makes sense. Former quarterback, you know, that's his spot. You know, it just makes perfect sense. It's almost like coaching at your alma mater in college. But, man, the Jaguars are a complete dumpster fire. They screw this up. And it's all about Trent Baalke. Leftwich made it known he did not want Trent Baalke, the current GM of the Jacksonville Jaguars, to be the guy there. He wanted Adrian Wilson, front office guy with the Cardinals. And, hey, I can't complain about this. Young guy. Cardinals got a good roster. Draft good. I think they underperform a little bit because of their coaching. They have a lot of talent on that team. They do good with free agent signings. I think this is a good guy. Steve Kime, I know uh, people don't love Steve Kime, but I think the uh, Cardinals have a good roster there. So this would have been a great young tandem. You have Trevor Lawrence, the former number one pick from last year. But no, you screw this up. You're just, oh my God, the Jaguars. You All year you had Urban Meyer. It was a blow up. You needed something good. Everything I hear about Byron Leftwich is he's a great players coach. Look what he's done with this team. LaShawn McCoy had a great breakdown about Leftwich saying, you know, end of the season, he asked guys what they need for incentives, helps players hit their incentives. That means a lot to players to get their bonuses, as long, especially if the game doesn't mean much. You know, it's not. There's a difference, he said, between like, we got to win this game and, you know, this game's not super much. I'm going to try and help everybody out within the game plan, which I love. Players love him. You need a players guy. You've had this old school approach in Jacksonville with Tom Coughlin and Doug Marone kind of blow up. Has anybody seen a team? The Jaguars are like five minutes away from going to the Super Bowl in 2017, and they've been a complete dumpster fire since. This is the ownership of Shad Khan. Just so, so bad. And I hate this. I like the Jaguars. They got cool colors, cool uniform. You know, it's a cool mascot. It was different. But, yeah, just a total botch by the Jaguars. And Trent Baalke is the issue here. Trent Baalke is a complete lunatic, it sounds like. Like, things blew up in San Francisco. This may have played why Harbaugh wasn't hired in Minnesota because of things what happened in San Francisco and stuff like that. But, man, Baalke seems to be a disaster. Just people say he's a piece of shit and nobody likes him. He's a psychopath, kind of. But, like, not like a real psychopath, but, like, kind of self-obsessed. Like, he's looking to hire an assistant. He's the general manager in charge of the team. And he's looking to hire somebody to really hand that over to. Because he wants to be involved, more involved with players and coaching. You're the GM. Stay out of it. Do your job as the GM. Like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, just evaluate talent and draft people, sign contracts. No, I need to be a coach. Why are all these people trying to put all their hands in every little pot and do stuff that they're not qualified for? It's so stupid. Now... I don't think really, if people want to say, you know, race, you know, top coordinator here. I don't think that has anything to do with that in the, of this situation. Byron Leftwich was easily the best coach. I think he just didn't get the looks from a lot of people because they assume the Jaguars are going to do the right thing and hire this guy. But no, the Jaguars are a poverty franchise. I know that's the hot topic, but this is what bad franchises do. This is what dumpster fires do. You just shit the bet on this. I, I can't even explain it. It's amazing how the same franchises do this over and over again. He's going to be the number one candidate next year. I don't think you can doubt his resume. I wanted him for Minnesota this year. But, of course, we're going to miss it. We hire Kevin O'Donnell, O'Connell, whatever the shit his name is. Terrible court, done nothing as a coordinator. Leftwich got a Super Bowl ring. Yeah, it's the go to Yeah, it's Tom Brady. Man has produced, okay? I like what I see out of Tampa Bay's offense. I like a lot out of Byron Leftwich. Now, maybe there could have been a handshake deal here. Bruce Arian said he was coming back. Maybe he retires this year. Maybe he coaches next year, steps away after next year, 
and Byron's going to take over the Tampa Bay job much in a much better spot as an organization, Tampa Bay. They don't really have a quarterback, but the roster's really good. Great front office people. They draft really, really well in Tampa Bay. So I think that could be a move there, which I would love if I'm the Buccaneers fan. But then again, he could just be out there next year, and it's always a year too early, year too late with these bad franchises. Somebody's going to get him. Great, great head coaching opportunity for Leftwich. Um Again, maybe New Orleans in division this year. I just don't really necessarily see that. It's hilarious that he's pulling out. And people bashed him for sh- uh, saying he didn't want to work with Balky. I'm all for it. Don't work with Balky. Be open about it. Say who you want. It's a smart move. The f- Jags are terrible. They just lose. Balky is a piece of shit. Like, don't do it. But now the guys that they have left are Basaccia and Peterson. I really like Doug Peterson for this job. I liked it originally. Uh, for him, he's a stable guy. He's won a Super Bowl. He's they need a stable force in that organization. It's a burning dumpster fire. The ship is sinking. Everything is fine, uh, as the saying goes. But Peterson is a stable personality. Now the problem is he had some butts with Lowry in uh, Philadelphia over roster control and stuff like that. And Balky seems to be that kind of guy. They might be bringing in former Vikings general manager Rick Spielman, another guy who's got his hands in the pot. So I don't know what's going on in Jacksonville. I want the Jags to be good, but it doesn't seem great. Peterson does seem like a good head coach to maybe bring some stability. Won a Super Bowl, like I said. Carson Wentz got the best out of Carson Wentz with Peterson. Trevor Lawrence could use Doug Peterson. He knows what he's doing. He's from the Andy Reid coaching tree. Now, that coaching tree's been a little fan of that. But I, you, know, you never know. You know, Peterson's proved his uh, worth in the NFL. Basachi, on the other hand, great story this year. I don't know how good of a head coach he is. The Raiders had a decent roster. He's a good leader. I just, I don't know. This team is very untalented. I think Peterson can win with an untalented team in Jacksonville. So I, I don't know about that. I think Peterson would be my lean. But then again, it's the Jaguars. Who the hell knows what they're going to do? They're a bad franchise. So, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. The Jaguars, pathetic. Who should they hire? Should Leftwich go? Is he staying in Tampa? Maybe. Again, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends. And I'll uh, see you all tomorrow.